Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to dual boot Elementary OS Juno with Windows 10. So to start off, all of the information on this, if you need help, is in the article I wrote in the description. But uh, make sure you have Windows 10 already installed, ideally on the same hard drive. Make sure you've got all that taken care of. Once you do, start up your elementary OS disk and click the Install Elementary button. From there, you need to set your keyboard layout and click Continue. Check this box if you want it to automatically download updates. I don't, so I'm going to click Continue. From there, it's going to scan and load a couple seconds and then it will be ready to use. So from here, it's going to detect that I have Windows 10. So it's going to say, and it, it should say this, and this means it's working. And if you don't see Windows 10 here, just reboot it, log into your Windows 10, then reboot, and then try again, because it needs to be able to access Windows 10 to know it's there. So it'll say this computer already has Windows 10 on it. So just check this box and elementary will automatically install alongside it. From there, you can use this to set how big you want your share to be. So elementary can be this size, Windows 10 can be this size. I'm gonna make elementary about 20 gigabytes. So then I just click the install now button and then it's going to write the changes. I can click continue. And um, from there, I can click continue once again. And uh, it's going to install all of that important software directly to the disk instead of the dual boot and all of that. So now I just need to set my time zone, which it should automatically detect. And set up my username and my password and uh, click continue. And it's going to install the software. Shouldn't take too long because I'm not having a download updates. And uh, I'll be right back. All right, so elementary OS is done installing alongside Windows 10, so now we click the restart button to restart our machine. So it's going to restart the computer. It's going to prompt us to remove everything. I'm going to do that with the VM really quick. So now you should be able to see Windows 10 in the bootloader along with elementary, and we can load both. So that is how you dual boot uh, Windows 10 and elementary OS. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.